What's poppin' YouTube? It's King Brewer coming back at you again with another video. And today, I actually been watching some other curly hair YouTubers' videos like Jawan and like Marlon, and they all got like a little intro smooth sound, you know what I'm saying? And I don't got one of those. So today, I'm about to make one up. I'm about to make it up on the spot. Let's try it again. What's poppin' YouTube? It's King Brewer coming back at you again with another And I want to talk about something very serious today. Do you ever feel like your hair is just not growing? Like, not growing at all. Like, two months later, and it still hasn't grown. Do you feel like your curls aren't curling the way they used to curl when they was popping? Because now they popping, but they not popping like they used to pop when you really had curly hair. Do you ever get your hair braided and it's real thick up here, but then when it gets down here or at the ends of it, it gets real, real thin? If so, then you might be having one of the same problems that I'm having right now at this very moment, which means you have split ends man and that means that it's time to cut your hair let's get it so boom just a little story time man so i just got my hair braided a lot of you guys seen it and complimented it on my last video which had nothing to do with hair but y'all see my braid style it's like this french braid style it was real fire everybody was complimenting it except for a select few females in the natural hair community they weren't so appreciative of it they were just like mm, your hair looks good whoever done it done a good job but uh you got some ends that you need to be trimmed, snip, snip, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, damn, it has been a long time since I got a trim. It's probably been a year. Oh my God, a year? That means it's almost two years. That means I'm almost on two years of hair growth. It's safe to say I'm an OG in this community. Salute me. And I'm low-key mad because my head just got to the length where I could really do a ponytail. Like, really, really do a ponytail and have some hang time in the back. Y'all want to see it? I know y'all want to see it. I actually lost the scrunchie, so y'all just going to have to see it when I pull it back. Boom. Pulling it back, pulling it back, pulling it back. You see this? That's an official ponytail. That is an official ponytail. You see it? Boom. I'm official. So anyway, I just got to that length and they said it's time for me to get a trim. So I took my fire braids out. The ones that I love so much. I've been waiting to get them French braids for forever. My head just got long enough to do it and now I have to cut it just a little bit. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go through my wash routine tonight. I'm gonna get it cut tomorrow after I get it re blow dry and she gonna braid it right back up. And I'm probably just gonna stick with this same hair routine until the end of quarantine. And by the time we come out of this thing, I'm gonna come out looking like Lil Bow Wow and I'm gonna have another eight inches of hair growth. And I know what you guys are thinking. King Bro, this is not like you. All this rambling and stuff ain't what you usually do. You know what? You're right. Let's get the business. So what are split ends? So every single hair that's on your head right now has a cuticle wrapped around it. A cuticle is basically like your hair's protective layer to protect it from the environment of Earth. And what happens is the armor that is this cuticle gets beat up on a daily basis and eventually it comes off. It comes off. It peels off. You know, you raw dog your pillow one day, you miss deep condition day one day, you just be alive and eventually that cuticle comes off. And once that cuticle comes off, your hair is then exposed to the harsh environment of earth. When this happens, the hair is likely to start breaking off and splitting up as it gets damaged by the air. So what happens is generally it'll split right down the middle and as this thing splits, it's gonna start at the very end of your hair and it's gonna eventually split all the way down until it's down at the root. And if you're unfortunate enough to have one of these split ends split all the way from the end of your hair to the root of your hair, guess what? You've lost a piece of hair because that piece of hair is finna fall out. But if you think you have split ends, don't feel bad and don't necessarily take that as a sign that you have haven't been taking care of your hair because even the most consistent of us have to deal with split ends however not taking care of your hair not being consistent not deconditioning and not wearing a bonnet when you go to sleep is going to be one of the ways that you speed this process up meaning that you have to get more trims throughout the year instead of once or twice a year as if you are you know actually taking care of your hair and don't be fooled just because it's not literally a split end doesn't mean that it's not under the category of a split end because technically everything that you're looking at right here is a split end you know the single strand knots split in split in it's a split in this t this i don't know what this is but a split in that's a split in and this right here oh my god yeah this right here when it's splitting in the middle and it connects again that is definitely a split in you have to cut that out bruh ain't no way around it so if i have split ends how can i stop them from going to my root cut it 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 
you're gonna have to cut that off bruh but luckily you don't have to cut all of your growth or all of your hair off at that you just have to cut right under where that split end starts that's why it's better and safer to get on it and cut it earlier when it's you know just the ends of the splitting versus you waiting you know four or five months too late and you got to cut off four or five inches and that's gonna hurt trust me it's probably been about a solid year since i've gotten a trim and i gotta cut off about an inch maybe an inch and a half and it's finna hurt man hurt bad so when is the right time to get a trim how often should i get a trim bruh listen i don't know that only you and the person that's touching your head or looking at your head on a daily basis would know that so a few things that we can use to know how often you should get a trim is boom are you wearing your bonnet, scarf, silk pillowcase? Are you doing that every night or are you raw dogging your pillow? If you raw dog your pillow 75% of the days that happened this last month, then you need to get a trim right now. Don't even look at your hair. You need a trim right now. If you wear your hair in a curly state more often than you do it in a braid or two strand twist or protective state, you probably need a trim, bruh. You probably need a trim. If you've just been walking around, you know, like not even really washed and not even deep conditioning, not even, you know, caring for real, just, you know, picking your hair. <laughs> you, my boy, should go ahead and get a trim, man. When I say get a trim, you probably wanna go to a salon, man. Go to a beautician. If you under four months, then I could say maybe go to a barber and get just that, just get a little bit of it. Just a little but understand that the barbers don't necessarily, they're not professionals at trimming your ends. They're professionals at cutting your hair completely. You know what I'm saying? Like getting your, getting it to look good, not saving your length. You know what I'm saying? Cause not many guys that come in the barbershop are anal about having to get, oh, why did I say anal? Oh my God, get your mind out of the go. Not too many barbers are anal about actually not cutting too much out the top. But with that being said, man, ah, your boy's about to go get a trim. It wouldn't be the worst thing for you guys to go to somebody you trust, if you can, to get a trim, get your hair braided, and chill for the rest of this quarantine. Just apply your oil to your roots, and yeah, man, hopefully we're going to have a whole lot of new growth coming out of this quarantine. But with that being said, got any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me in the comments, like this video, share this video, make sure you subscribe and click the bell. It's King Brill. Peace. Hold up. I want to do my intro one more time. And that's the end of my... Video! Whoever ain't with this, don't even ask me for that. Right.